In 2013, MSF France opened a new HIV project in Ndiwa sub-county, Western Kenya, aiming at reducing HIV incidence and mortality through a combination of intervention. This project followed a population study conducted in 2012. This study was similar to the one Nolwen just presented earlier this morning. At this time, we showed that Ndiwa was one of the places worst hit by the epidemic, characterized by high prevalence and incidence, but low coverage. At the time, one every 10 adults was HIV positive and unaware of its status. The situation was particularly worrying for pregnant and breastfeeding women. Only half of them were diagnosed and a quarter virally suppressed. What was then the operational response of MSF? In 2014, MOH, supported by MSF and other partners, decentralized IRT care. From six facilities operational in 2012, 32 centers are now providing IRT in the district. Kenya also changed its IRT treatment, implementing systematic lifelong treatment for all pregnant women. However, some challenge remained. The first one was to identify undiagnosed HIV, patient, HIV positive children outside the HIV clinic, and the second one was related to the diagnosis of these children. Indeed, diagnosis of HIV among infants required a PCR, a complicated test that was done only in centralized laboratory, leading to learn turnaround time. The study was justified by the need to conduct a full evaluation of the prevention of mother-to-child transmission program and the will to pilot innovative strategy based on the identified challenges. The first strategy is based on expanding screening strategy for mother and baby. It is a systematic testing of women outside the HIV clinic in various places where new mother encounters the health system, like vaccination, OPD, IPD, and maternity. The second strategy was the evaluation of a decentralized laboratory network using near point of care PCR technology to reduce turnaround time in order to speed up diagnosis and treatment of children. The main objective of the study was to evaluate mother-to-child transmission rate among children aged six weeks and nine months, defined as the proportion of HIV-positive infants born from HIV-positive mother. The study also aimed at evaluating each step of the cascade of care among mothers and assess time to heart initiation and viral suppression among infants, because the objective is not only to find children positive, but to make sure that they are successfully put on treatment. To achieve those objectives, we conducted a facility-based survey in 26 structures between February and July 2016. All HIV-positive infants identified in the survey were then included in a six-month prospective cohort. The inclusion criteria was as follows. In the 26 selected facility, all mother-baby pair aged six weeks and nine months attending routine vaccination were considered eligible. In the main hospital, we also included children coming from the maternity, the IPD, and the OPD. To conduct this study, we built four decentralized laboratories with PCR and implemented a sample transport network using motorbikes to serve all the facilities. All infants were tested for HIV using two PCR, the point of care and the reference method, and all HIV positive women also had their viral load tested regardless of their ART status. Let's look now at the results. Close to 4,000 women baby pair were included in the study. Mothers were young, a quarter being aged 20 or less, and close to 90% reported a monthly outcome below $50 per month. ANC coverage was good, with 99% of the women having attended at least one visit, and close to 80% completed three recommended visits. However, 14.3% of the had their first ANC visit only during the last trimester of pregnancy. In this slide, we are presenting the prevalence and incidence result of the, womb, of the mothers. Overall, HIV prevalence of, among mothers was high at 23.9%, increasing with age with less, with from 4% below 15 to close to 45% to women aged 35 to 39. HIV incidence was also extremely high at 4.1 new cases per year. In other words, in the two years between the beginning of pregnancy and the end of breastfeeding, close to one out of 10 HIV negative women will have acquired HIV. The 
The cascade of care among mothers was extremely good. At the time of the survey, 96% of all HIV positive mothers were diagnosed, 93% were receiving ARV, and 83% had a viral load below 1,000 copies. If we restrict to only those who were on ART for more than six months, viral load suppression was 89%. Another key point to highlight is that close to two thirds of the patients were now receiving ART at primary care level. Using HIV testing history, we estimated when mothers were diagnosed in regard to their pregnancy. Close to two thirds were diagnosed prior to their last pregnancy, whereas 32.3% of the participants were diagnosed during their last pregnancy or after. These figures vary strongly with age. If only 21.1% of the women below 19 year old were diagnosed at the beginning of their last pregnancy, this proportion rose to 82% among those who are more than 40. The overall MTCT rate was 3.2%. It varies strongly with two main factors among mothers. When did they initiate their treatment and their viral load at the time of the survey? As you can see in the table here, when a mother achieved a viral load below 1,000 copies and initiated ART before the last trimester of its pregnancy, only 0.3% of the infant were infected. In every other case, MTCT was higher close to 30 times higher in every case, whether the mother initiated ART too late or were just in virological failure. But please bear in mind that these numbers are small. Out of the 33 positive HIV infants identified, only four were already diagnosed and on treatment prior to the study. Out of the 29 newly diagnosed children, 25 initiated ART after a median time of 34 days from the initial test to the ART initiation. In total, three children died during the six months follow-up and viral suppression at six months after the initial test was low at 50%. Let's now discuss our results. We found that the transmission rates among children was low at 3.2%, below the 5% target set by UNAIDS, and way below our uh, hypothesis for the study of 8%. This hypothesis was already much lower than the 14% transmission rate reported by the Ministry of Health in 2014. Even when compared to other studies with huge similar methodology and evaluated the same uh, PMTCT program, our findings were at least twice lower than what was found in 2014 in Malawi or in Mozambique in 2016. This result is likely explained by the fact that 83% of the HIV positive women had a viral load below 1,000. This high level of viral suppression suggests that the PMTCT program is well implemented, both for the diagnostic and treatment part. It also showed that the program is extremely well decentralized as most of the women are now receiving ART at dispensary level. Residual MTCT was associated with late or non-art initiation among mothers and treatment failure, highlighting the need to quickly diagnose women, prevent HIV acquisition during pregnancy, as well as detect early treatment failure among pregnant women, including fast switch to second line. Few children were diagnosed and treated prior to the study, highlighting the difficulties of the EID system implemented in NDY at the time of the survey. Our strategy to look for children outside the HIV clinic was efficient. However, if we managed to diagnose and start on ART most of the children within three months, viral suppression at six months was only 50%, highlighting the difficulties to successfully put on, put on treatment infants, especially very young ones at one month old. The need for better, for better formulation of drug adapted to infants, better, uh, better support to staff, increased adherence for the parents is extremely important. The most worrying finding of the study in regards to the general objective of the project was a high incidence found among women, close to 4%, and similar to the incidence we found in young women in the general population in 2012. To address this challenge, MSF France will start a new activity supported by Epicent that will be launched this year. It will aim at preventing HIV incidence for women by identifying and treating their male partners through HIV self-testing. It will also propose pre-exposure prophylaxis to young women at high risk of HIV acquisition. Thank you very much. I would like to thank especially Alliance Nicuse and Gian uh, Ben Farat who, who played a big role in this study. Thank you very much.